Hello, hello. Good day. Don't mind the really oily hair. <laughs> um, it is Tuesday, March 4th, and I just got off the phone with the Dr. Blackie, who I had seen with Karima a couple weeks ago. I'm on about week two, full two weeks, about, of the, the herb peritocin that he gave me, and I, um, I was wanting to check in on something. I've been having a new symptom just coming and going for the past four days of this, like, sharp abdominal pain. It would just, like, be a cramp that would come and go away, maybe happen, like, two or three times a day. And so I wanted to ask him about that and if that was the herb, which I figured it was because it did not, I knew that it wasn't the food. And um, he said that that's not the herb, and he said, um, oh, he said that that is the parasites trying to escape the herbs and go into the bile duct or, like, climb, just, like, climb around from the intestines up the bile duct into the gallbladder and he recommended a castor oil pack on my abdomen around that area to flush, dry them out of, and draw them out of that area and back into the intestines where they will be fully affected by the herbs. He also said that one thing that I was worried about was that the herbs were also taking down my body's bacteria and things like that, which are really helpful and that I'm trying to help build with my um, amazing high nutrient, you know, and high probiotic diet. Um, uh, and he said, no, the herbs are not, they're not killing bacteria. Um, they're more specifically targeting the parasites. And he said that the muscle testing would have shown a weakened state of my body if the, if the herbs were going to be taking down any of that natural flora. Um, so that's kind of cool. And my body was so much stronger with the herbs, so he said that's why it showed that that they would be good for me. Um, I'm still taking the herbs, and I smell the bottle of them. It's a very strong smelling, but I don't feel, like, repulsed by it yet, so I continue to take them, even though I'm constantly questioning, um, questioning that because I'm kind of coming at this from all the, from a couple prongs at the same time, you know, with a high, high um, healing diet, which could do all the work for me probably, and then these herbs that are kind of like a attack point to the parasites. So, but I'm feeling like I'll give it another week with these herbs, and I'm not going to continue taking them after three weeks or so. Um, and hopefully we'll have little flukies out by then, and I should be able to see them. Um, and I'm going back to that doctor on March 11th, so I will be able to sort of, at least via his um, kinesiology, be able to see if the liver flukes are still there, if my body's a lot stronger, blah, blah, blah. Um, I do feel a lot stronger, but um, the past few days I've been having uh, more symptoms, I'd say. They definitely feel like detox symptoms, though, so it's interesting. It's like all these things going on. And one of the herb supplements that I'm taking from him is a gallbladder product, and it has some pretty intense um, herbs like noni leaf, um, which is something... I learned about in Hawaii, and which is a really powerful um, hmm, cleansing and detoxing, and um, that's a really powerful plant medicine. You can look it up. Maybe I can find some information on knowing and pass it on. Um, the past last night I slept really well. That's because I choked down like a bunch of food before I went to sleep raw lamb, raw ground lamb, and oh, I made this smoothie that was so bad, so I'm not even going to tell you, um, because it's not a recipe I want to pass on, um, but interestingly enough, I've been having trouble sleeping through the night the past four nights, and what was happening is that I, 
was waking up in a waking up in the middle of the night, sort of tossing and turning, and or just wake up, just 5 a.m. or 3:30 one night. Um, I woke up and my body was too hungry to keep sleeping, like it didn't have enough like fat or something to keep it going. And <laughs> I just found that so interesting because I'm eating like feel like I'm eating quite a bit and like the amounts I'm eating raw eggs and butter like lots of butter like making these smoothies that come out into like pint size and they have like three eggs they have like half a stick to a stick of butter in them and honey and usually I put a green banana in them maybe avocado in there too anyways I've been having these and other foods and vegetable juice too but it's digesting so well and so quickly that it doesn't make it through the whole night. So, um, yesterday I made a new nut formula, which is ground raw nuts mixed with butter and honey and raw eggs, maybe one or two. And that is something that I, is really appetizing to me and that, that will help me, um, make it through these nights. The other thing that people do is they keep raw eggs or just, yeah, they keep eggs by their bed and they'll just crack them and drink them or my friend Larry says he drinks like six eggs before bed <laughs> so that he sleeps all the way through and that's just so interesting. I mean, this is really a whole different way of my body running. I'm used to like these heavy meals that don't go through for a long time and I never thought that the plant matter and grains and things like that were so indigestible and so slow moving, but they definitely were. And now, like, my bowel movements are way, they're just, like, so much nicer. They're um, easy, and they don't smell very much at all, and I just have really regular bowel movements, and it seems like things are digesting way better, even though... Even though, like, my acid's probably pretty low and, um, you know, my overall digestion, digestive system was pretty compromised, but it doesn't matter because these are, like, the elixir, like, baby easy foods, um, so that's really awesome. And I also have been cutting way back on my water intake, and I now feel not thirsty all the time, <laughs> and I'm not peeing all the time, and it's amazing. And he suggests, um, Ajinus suggests that the most hydrating things are like tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, and then if you make a drink out of cucumber with raw honey and coconut cream, that you can just sip on throughout the day, and it's super hydrating. Um, but mainly we feel thirst because of a need for fat and you're detoxing and you pull the fat out of your throat and mouth and other areas obviously but you feel it first really quickly in your throat and mouth. So when I feel thirsty I often just sip on some fat, fatty smoothie and um, I feel better or I do an oil pull or just suck on, um, put a spoonful of coconut oil in the mouth or flax oil or something. Um, I'm still working on getting hooked up with raw milk and butter. And next week, Tuesday, at this time, hopefully I'll be going to Egan to um, pick up pick up some of that. I need to call them today and tell them how much I want. Um, I'm out of bones, my bone broth. And, yeah, and one of the most interesting things that I've been coming into is that I feel so satisfied and, like, full. I feel full. I actually have a hard time staying on top of um, my caloric intake and the sugar and fat levels that my body wants to stay stabilized. And, um... So there's differing opinions, you know, that I may be overdoing it at some point, and then, um, and that's why I feel turned off by it. Um, and mostly I don't feel like the food is gross at all. Like these butter smoothies are super delicious. I make them super delicious. The nut formula is really good. The raw meat I've been having a little bit harder of a time with, um, yeah, I've been having a hard time really wanting it 
and really enjoying it. So I need to figure out, um, we can find some more recipes. And also, like, I'm really interested in getting bison. Um, I know that's something that I like. And, um, but in order to find good, healthy meat, oftentimes you have to order it online or find something like that um, or find a farm. So I'm just sort of working towards getting my hands on everything that I want. Until then, I'm doing my best. And I have had quite a bit of bone marrow. I bought some goat shanks and some grass-fed beef shank. That was pretty yummy. And I did, like, eat into some of that meat. Um, but the bone marrow, yeah, was really interesting. It definitely was, like, deep regeneration processes that I went into. So, yeah, it's been it's been a really interesting time of, like, like, I don't feel hungry before bed, but then I will not even be able to sleep because my body needs fuel. And then if I don't have enough, I'll wake up a little weak feeling. But um, I am feeling a lot clearer. My energy is feeling a lot more stable. I have been able to get so many things done around the house and with business things. And I've just been, like, handling things on my list that... I really couldn't even approach last week or the week before that. And my mind has been a lot clearer, and I'm excited about that. I'm sort of like stepping back into my life, but um, also taking care to not go too fast because a lot of this needs um, rebuilding time, and I'm seeing that I'm still detoxing quite intensely, and so trying to get my hands on more clay to take some good baths and... I also got this magnesium spray that's basically just straight magnesium melted with water and um, it's a more digestible, a more absorbable form over the long term than Epsom salts, which I also find really useful to take baths in Epsom salts. And, but this spray has been really awesome because I can put it like directly where it needs it, which is like in my jaw and in these my neck and shoulders and things like that. That's where I can really often feel the magnesium deficiencies. And apparently you absorb it really well through your skin. Um, so that's a new sort of magnesium supplement that I'm taking. It's magnesium oil, which you can super easily make yourself. You get magnesium flakes, and then you just heat it with water, and um, maybe I'll make a video on that sometime. Anyways, that is it for now. I... Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying the process, and sometimes it's very confusing to see what is a reaction, what is a detox, what is a symptom of what, and especially when I'm hitting things with this new diet, you know, new diet, and, and the herb protocol at the same time. But talking to my doctor is helpful, and I have um, my friend Larian, who I contact multiple times a day, all day basically, you know, asking for recipe tips and eating tips and um, he likes to troubleshoot with me too to just help me feel better and better, so it's been really wonderful. And um, I've been offering and feeding different of my uh, butter concoctions to anyone that's around and everybody really loves them too and feels good and now there's some people in my life that are starting to eat raw eggs and looking for raw dairy products with me so it's exciting I uh, it's exciting I think we're really on to something for sure um anyways just wanted to give a little update love you